This video is about how to control the look and feel of ink. This happens to be a cap frame and the mesh is so tight that this thin bar actually bows in a little bit. That's very important because we need to have the tension be equal in all directions. If the tension is uneven, then the amount of ink that is deposited on the garment will be uneven. So if you had a real soft screen, like a screen where the mesh is glued to the frame, that mesh is going to stretch like an elastic band when you're pulling the squeegee. And what happens is the mesh forms a wave in front of the squeegee. You're literally pushing a wave. That's labor. And also, it's going to dump more ink on the shirt than if the mesh is really tight. So we want really tight screens. Now, I've done a little chart here to give you some idea of what we're working on. The first picture here, we have a frame with mesh in the frame. There's a squeegee and there's a pile of ink. And we're going to pull that squeegee along the screen and we notice that the mesh is straight. So the mesh is not touching the garment yet. And we could do a flood stroke where we're spreading the ink on top of the mesh but not pushing the ink through. Sometimes printers will do this on the first stroke of a job just to get some ink over the image but I do not recommend it as a continuing practice because what will no, like, no doubt happen is you push ink through the screen before the screen is touching the shirt and you'll lose the resolution of your image. But it's drawn here as though you've got ink on the surface. And then here we've got a drawing as though we've printed the ink to this point. Some ink went through the screen. We've got deposits of ink and we still have ink on the sc screen, plus we've got the ink that, which is now in front of the squeegee blade. And because you have ink in front of the squeegee blade, that's why you really don't need to be doing a flood stroke, except maybe the first time, first stroke of a job, if that. Okay, and in this particular drawing, the mesh is deflected down so that the bottom of the screen is just touching the garment we're printing on. Now this part of the exhibit here shows threads going this way and threads going that way. So this is the mesh. Underneath the mesh is the capillary film. So we have a two-ply structure that the ink must pass through. And the ink is, when it's in this structure, is in the ink well. The ink well, again, is composed of the mesh and the capillary film. If you've ever felt mesh or capillary film, you've probably noticed they're very slippery. So when we deflect the mesh down, the bottom of the inkwell touches the garment. And you know if that's a cotton shirt, for example, it's kind of toothy. It's going to draw that ink out of the inkwell. And if we have a nice sharp squeegee, we're going to cut the ink at the backside, removing the support to the inkwell. So the only thing that's supporting the ink in the inkwell are the sides. And once the bottom of the inkwell touches the shirt, there should be more friction at the shirt than there is at the inkwell. And so the mesh pops up, snaps off, peels off, whatever you want to call it. But the mesh pops up and leaves the ink there. What you don't want to do is press so hard that when that ink hits the shirt, the ink spreads. Because when it spreads, you lose resolution. And also, when you press that hard, you would drive the ink into the shirt. Now the color of the shirt's coming up through the ink film you've lost color strength, you've lost opacity. What we want to do is put down a very thin deposit of ink that lays on top of the surface. And by doing that, we're going to get the best feel and look of the image. So the trick really is very light pressure and just touch the top of that garment in order to get the best quality prints for the look and feel of your images. And that's how quality printing is done.